Hi, I'm Colin Westerman, a Titleist Performance Institute Level 2 Certified Golf Fitness Specialist in Vancouver, BC, and I'm with Colin Westerman Golf Fitness. Welcome to 20 Minute Workouts for Golf. Uh, this is Level 1. If you've done this workout before, welcome back. I'm glad you, uh, you made it. Let's just skip to the 2 minute and 30 second mark on this video and we'll get you started. So, Level 1. Who does Level 1? Level 1 is for people that are, are new to fitness. Not necessarily new to golf, but new to fitness. You've got to get your body ready to work out by starting out with a little bit lighter intensity in order to prepare yourself for power because we don't want to hurt yourself. So this is who this is designed for. Now how do they work? Well, we're going to start with a 5 minute warm up and then we're going to do 15 exercises for 40 seconds at a time with a 20 second work, uh, sorry, 20 second rest in between each. That's going to give you your 20 minutes. If you want, you can go back to the start and do the whole routine again. You're going to get a great workout. Uh, but what I really recommend you do after doing the circuit is you go find the 15 minute stretching routine for golf that's also on YouTube and you follow along with that. Then you're going to get strength, you're going to get endurance, you're going to get flexibility, which are all an amazing, amazing balanced program to design to get you a really, really good golf swing. So what kind of equipment do you need? Well, have a look. You see I've got two 10-pound dumbbells. You can use anywhere from 8 pounds to 20 pounds. The key is that you find a weight that challenges you, but it's not so hard that you spend most of your time resting and not exercising. Okay, I've also got a purple exercise tube. These come in multicolors depending on the resistance you want. You can attach this to a door, to a couch, to a squat rack if you're in the gym, something that's heavy enough to give you a good anchor point. I've got a 10 pound medicine ball. You can use anywhere from eight to 15. Same thing as the dumbbells. They shouldn't be too heavy or too light. So that's all you need. You hit play, you follow along, and you have a great workout. Uh, once you get good at it and you've done it a few times, just turn the volume down and turn your music up because I guarantee you're going to get sick of hearing my voice. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on YouTube here. Follow me on Facebook, Colin Westerman Golf Fitness. Uh, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, CW Golf Fitness, and we'll gladly answer any questions you might have about, uh, about golf fitness. Last but not least, please consult a doctor before doing any program of exercise. Very, very important. So we're going to take a 10-second break. We're going to get you started and have a great workout. Okay, so here we go. Uh, we're going to start with the warm-up. I'm going to get you to start off by grabbing one dumbbell. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take this dumbbell and gently rotate side to side. All right, just nice and gentle to start. Nothing too extreme. You'll notice my back foot comes off the ground a little bit, almost like a golf follow-through. You don't want to lock your hips in place. You want to let them rotate as well. All right, nice and gentle. We're going to each of these for 30 seconds here. A little five-minute warm-up. We've got 10 seconds left. All right, just make sure we get a nice gentle rotation. We're nothing too extreme. Uh, there we go, three seconds. Two, and rotate, good. Next thing, little spread in the stance. You're gonna squat straight down, push over your head. Squat, push over your head. Now you'll notice, when I'm squatting here, my back stays straight, my butt's dropping to the floor. I'm not letting the knees lead the motion. You're not letting the lead, knees lead, you're not letting the chest drop to the floor either. You're staying nice and tall, chest stays forward. Drop the butt down, don't let the knees go too far forward. Good, two seconds and done. All right, take that one dumbbell. You're gonna take it in your left hand, stand on your right leg. Okay, find that positioning for you here and we're just gonna row. Again, nice straight back. You notice how my back's nice and straight here. We're not rounding out, we're staying nice and straight. Okay, upper body rotates a bit. Watch this upper body. Make it rotate around a stable base, okay? If you want to get a little more challenged, let's lift that leg in the air. You'll see it's a little bit more on the balance. A lot more difficult. All right, let's switch to the other side. Other leg, other arm. All right, standing on the left leg. Grab it in your right arm, and we'll just row. Nice, gentle side to side, up and down. Body's moving, but the hips aren't. Nice straight back, okay? Nice and straight. We've got 15 seconds here. Okay, again, let's challenge ourselves. A little bit more balance. You can always tap down if you have to, but we want to try to get that balance warmed up, really warms up the hip. Okay, we got four seconds. Three, two, one. Good, drop those dumbbells down. They're about a foot apart. 
You're going to stand in a push-up position, okay, nice and straight, not, not uh, arched like that. And we're just going to walk side to side to stop, to start. Touch one hand to the middle, side to side. Keep the back nice and straight, no sagging, no rotating. Chest and pelvis stay facing the floor. We got 10 seconds, side to side. Get that shoulder stability. Really important for golf and to have healthy shoulders is to keep stable. All right, good. Take a pause. Both hands on the outside of the dumbbell. You're going to do a push up, come up, touch the opposite shoulder. Push up, come up, touch the opposite shoulder. So you're reaching one hand off the ground, touching the shoulder. Trying to keep your body as straight as possible. Try not to rotate. You don't really want to rotate very much on this one. You want to keep nice and strong, nice and stable, nice and straight. All right? Feet wider if you need them wide. Narrow if you want to make a little bit more of a challenge. Two, one, and done. Good. I need you to stand up. Grab one dumbbell. One dumbbell. Now you're going to squat down. You're going to rotate up. So squat down, rotate to the right. Again, if you look at my back foot, back foot's releasing. You're not locking the hips. That's not good for your back. Your hips and your pelvis should turn together. Hips and the belly button. Squat, rotate. Squat, rotate. I'll show you the other side. You want to watch that nice squat? And done. Okay. Last one here, we're going to switch. Now watch on the squat. Squat down. Don't squat forward. Squat, rotate. Squat, full release. Let's get that motion going down. Squat, rotate. Okay, you can see, rotating through, facing all those far as you can with a full release. Squat, rotate. Nice. Nine seconds. Rotate through. Starting to feel the blood pumping, starting to feel the warm up, starting to feel a little bit of warmth. Good job. Okay, we're done. Right on. Let's just take a quick 10 second break, grab some water, towel off. We'll get you started on the workout. All right, guys, time to get started. Let's get in on our workout here. We're all warmed up. Let's grab our dumbbells. We're going to get two dumbbells here. We're going to start with that. We're going to do a deadlift. What you're going to do is you're going to drop your butt back. See how the butt stays, back stays nice and straight? Okay, you're not rounding your back. You're going to get into a nice deadlift position here, and all you're going to do is row. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. So what this does is make sure you get into a good hip hinge for good proper golf posture. A lot of people, when they get into this golf posture, they end to round their low back. They don't get a nice straight back and a hip hinge. So keeping that straight back, keeping those, hinge, those hips going backwards. Just row, squeeze the shoulder blades. Squeeze the shoulder blades. This is a great exercise to work on your golf posture here. Shoulder blades back, chest is up, and last one. Okay, next thing we're doing, we're going to grab your tube, okay, and anchor to the side. You're going to hold it so you feel the abs engage right through here. You're going to squat down once without moving, and then you're going to squat down, turn to the right, okay? So you got about five more seconds of break. That's all we're going to do. Squat down without moving, squat down with movement. Here we go. No movement, and then rotate. No movement. Rotate. Off that back foot, no movement. Feel those abs working? I'll bet you do. No movement. Rotate. No movement. Rotate. Now look when I squat. I squat backwards. I don't let those knees go too far forward. Down, no rotation, rotation. No rotation, no rotation. You gotta earn that right to rotate, okay? No rotation, rotation. Five seconds, none, and rotate. Last one, and boom. Okay, 20 second break. You're just gonna turn around, do the other side. I've got everything hooked up here. So we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side, all right? So, we still got eight seconds. Catch your breath, okay, we need some good break. We don't wanna get too tired here right off the bat. Here we go. And squat, no rotation. Rotation release, no rotation. Watch that back foot. Like a real golf swing, you're letting go with that back foot so that you can do a full follow through. Good stuff, we're getting tired, hey? 25 seconds, no rotation. Rotation, keep those hands in front on the squat. Boom, again, watch those hips. Watch that back. Keep it straight. We still got 10 seconds, we're not done yet, let's go. 
Almost done. Seven. Boom. Rotate out. Boom. Rotate out and done. Good job, guys. We got a 20 second breather here. Walk it out, shake it out. Listen to me, I'm working hard. You should be working hard too. All right, so let's keep going here. Nine seconds. Shake it out. You're going to grab your tube. I've got one set up in front. You just keep grabbing the same one. We're going to get into your golf posture and we're going to row. Row. If you look to the side, nice solid golf posture. Back is straight. You're not rounded. You're not curved over. Working on the row. All right, if you feel it's too uh, easy, just take a step back and row again. Row. All right, if it's too difficult, step forward. Okay? So all I got to do, keep going, stepping forward. Good. Solid golf posture. Look at that. Just like I'm grabbing a club. Get that golf position. If it's still too difficult, step even closer. Still too, too easy. You can double up that tube. Okay? Let's go. Three seconds. Two. One. Done. Good job. Okay, I'm going to grab a little water. We got a 20 second break. You guys just turn around. We're going to do the other side. And we'll get you going. All right? Another thing you can do if you want, if it's still too, you're not, you don't have the distance, just double up on the tube and grab the tube itself. Just like this, so what I'm doing here. And we're off. Boom. Boom. Again, nice solid posture. You see how my hips aren't moving? Not doing any of that. We're not doing any Elvis, baby. We're staying solid. Solid. Good. Nice body position. Keep that angles. Nice solid hips. Nice solid back. You see my upper body just rotating a bit. Right? But my hips aren't moving. Pulling. Pulling. Good. What are we at here? We've got 14 seconds, guys. Let's go. And ladies. And ladies, if you're joining us. Keep going. Nine seconds. I use guys as kind of an all-encompassing term. Four. Three. Two. One. Done. Beautiful. Okay. 20 second break. Good job. Let's grab your medicine ball. All right. I've got a 10. If you want, you can grab a dumbbell too. If you don't have a medicine ball, you can grab a dumbbell. Now the key with this one is you want to make sure you step first and then rotate through. Step and rotate. I'll explain while I'm going. Okay. So here we go. Step. Rotate. Rotate. Where does the golf swing come from? Lower body. Boom. You always want to start the downswing by losing your lower body, using your lower body. Boom. You don't get that over the top move. Get the legs going, follow with the upper body. Okay, that's how you generate your power. You don't generate your power by flailing your arms through. You get that body turn. Rotate. Step, rotate. Rotate. Good. Rotate. We're almost there. Seven seconds. Boom. Step. Step, lead with that lower body. Last one. Done. All right. Starting to work here. Starting to work. So next one, going to be working the chest. Going to be working the posture. Going to get your towel down. Kneeling on one knee, grabbing the tube in the same hand as the knee you're kneeling on. Going to get you into a kneeling position or a half kneeling. And we're going to press and press. Okay, stabilizing. Now we're stabilizing through the trunk, stabilizing through the hip, and really working to rotate. Squeeze this butt. Squeeze that butt right there. Get it really tight. Okay, by getting that thing really tight, that's your base of stability for a nice powerful swing. If you don't have tight glutes, you don't have a tight solid swing because you got nothing to brace against. So squeeze that butt cheek of the knee that's on the floor. It should feel really tight. Working through with a little rotation, driving it through. Driving through nice and tight. We got three seconds. Good. And done. Good job, folks. What we'll do here, just flip around to the other side of your body. Drop the uh, opposite knee down. So again, you're on the same knee as the arm you're pushing with. And we're going to just do the exact same thing on the other side. All right. So here we go. In one. <laughs> good. Two. Got three. You guys are looking good here. Four. Five. If you feel it scraping your arm, just move away from the tube a little bit on the horizontal. Boom. Keeping that butt tight. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. You feel that hips really tight. That's your base of stability. Drive through. Drive through. Tube's coming on the outside of your arm. Drive through. Drive. Good. Where are we at here? 13 seconds. Working hard. Keep that hip tight. Drive. 
and drive. Good stuff. Keep it going. You got it. Come on. Boom. We got three, two, one. Last one. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to get you back to the first knee that you were on. Now what you're going to be doing, your chest is parallel to the line of the cable. All right? Or the tube in this case. I always call it a cable, but it's a tube. You're going to grab both arms on the tube. Arms are straight out in front of you. And now what we're doing is we're rotating, pushing away from you. So rotate, then push toward the side. So one, two. Now this hip that's on the ground, this knee that's on the ground right here, super solid. Here we're really training the glutes, training the body to rotate and fire. Boom, good. Strong, strong, strong. If you're weak, you're gonna see this hips going out to the side. We don't want that. We want that hip to stay tucked. So turn, push, and then push. You're gonna kind of combine it. Push, bring that elbow in. Push, good. We're almost there. Nice, we got done, okay. Nice work, I'm gonna flip to the other side. You just switch to the knee, okay. Switch to the opposite knee. The uh, tube is parallel to your chest, all right. We're gonna do the exact same thing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze through that hip. It's gotta stay tight, you don't wanna let it drop out. Ready, set, and go. Turn, push, turn, push. Keep that hip nice and strong, push. Nice push. 30 seconds here. Drive through. Getting tired. And this is the beginner workout. Aren't you glad you didn't start with a power one? If you've never done fitness, oh, lost my hip. Talking too much. Good. 15 seconds. Push. Good. Strong hip. Boom. Stabilize. Drive. Stabilize. Drive. Good stuff. Seven. Almost there. Stabilize. Woo. Four. You got it, you got this, come on, last one. Drive it through. Beauty, okay? Tired here, that's a tough one. You should feel those hips solid. You should feel it working pretty good. Heart rate's going. So, drop the towel, gonna pick up your medicine ball or your dumbbell, whichever one you have. All right, we're gonna do wood choppers here. Reverse wood choppers. You're gonna drop down, solid hip. Drive through with the release. Down, drop. You'll notice the hips not dropping very much. Keep the hips solid. It's like you got your butt against a wall and you're driving through. So the support hip on the down shouldn't move too far back. That's your solid thing. Just like when you're in a backswing, you don't want to let those hips move too much. They have to move, but you don't slide to the left. You don't want to see it sliding, sliding. That's a slide. We don't want that. With strong hips, drive through. Down, drive. Down and fast on the way up. Release that hip. Boom. Down, fast, last one. Down, fast, okay. Good stuff. You should feel your heart rate going right now. Got to do the other side. So just remember what I'm talking about. We don't want to slide those hips. We want a solid hip when we're working, both in this exercise and both on a backswing. You don't want to let that hip drop to the side. Okay, three, two. We're going to go the opposite direction now. And we're off. Solid, drive through. Solid. Drive through. So you got this hip against the wall. Drive through. Drive off that right hip. And in my case, you might be on your left. Down, drive. Down, drive. You see my hips are following my belly button. Pelvis and belly button try to stay lined up. Much better for your back if they move together. Good. Solid drive through. Solid 15 seconds. You're almost there. Solid drive through. Solid drive through. Good. Boom. Think of the legs first, arms second, use those legs to create power, last one, all right, good job, okay, we're almost there folks, almost there, we're working hard, now we're going to get some upper body, lower body separation here, we're going to be jumping side to side, but I want you to reach across like you're in a backswing, like you're in a follow through, boom, boom, okay, so here it looks like this, reach across, reach across, Reach, so you see, whoa, boom. Solid lower body, rotating upper body. That's the key to the power of a golf swing. Solid lower body, powerful strong upper body. Good, side to side. Boom, if you wanna get hard, a little further. A little more cardio involved here. Keep that golf posture. Really good one for you to like to stand up out of your golf posture. Keep this one low, keep the chest facing the ground. 10 seconds, 
Almost there. Seven, six, five, four. Rotate, almost lost. I'm getting tired. And done. Right on, guys. Last one here. This is a nice sort of a uh, sort of cool down uh, that we're going to do before we go on to the very, very last one of the intents. This is just some rotation. I got a golf club. You can just grab your tube of your hands. I'm going to sit back a little bit. And what we're going to do is going to work on thoracic rotation. Thoracic rotation. So you see, my belly button is facing forward as much as I can. By sitting down into my legs like this, I kind of lock my lower body in place so that I'm working on my upper back rotation from here up. That's again, same with the golf swing. You don't want a lot of lower back rotation. You want upper back rotation. So just go as far as you can with the upper back. You'll see it doesn't look as far as you may want it to look like, but that's what we'll work on. Basically rotating from the middle of your ribs up, not the lower back. Keep that belly button facing as far forward as you can. Done. All right, so golf club comes in handy there. You just have your hands if you want. Last one here. And then we'll get you uh, going to your stretching program if you're doing one set. The 15 minute flexibility for golf. Look for it on YouTube. If you want to do them all over again, go ahead. But this next one is a tough one. Squat jumps, 90 degrees each way. Boom. Hands on the chest because you want that rotation now coming from the lower body. We just kind of did the upper. So 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. Landing soft, soft. You don't want your neighbors below you to get angry here. You also don't want your knees to take all the strain. So soft, boom, boom, soft, good. Working on that rotation. Less than 10, you got it, come on. Last seven, let's go. Push through, I know you're tired. We're almost done, this is our last thing. One more, and done, boom. Woo, good job guys. That was a tough one. 15 minutes, that's the beginners, man, what's going on? So, let's get you to rewind, go back to the start if you wanna do another set. If not, highly, highly recommend 15 minute flexibility stretching routine for golf. Search for it on YouTube. If you really wanna get specific, why don't you find your, uh, the local TPI professional at mytpi.com. They'll be able to sort out and get you even better than what we're doing here today. But great job, okay? We'll see you next time.